Number three, you should live next to a dynamic community that's not ran by the Sopranos. No, real talk. That's going to let these young people be young people and do weird stuff and bother us. And I don't know about that. They brought this whitey mom and he talks dirty and I don't know. I don't like all this crazy stuff. That's good. Because that means they're articulating Islam according to how they understand Islam and are moving in a different direction. 35 to 25 in the Muslim community. 40 to 25 are AWOL in America. Because they gave up, man. They got tired of battling with the chachas and the uncles. Real talk. They got tired of battling with the elders, man, with all respect. So what happened? We lost generations of young people. I have a young student of mine. She's a girl. Did her degree, law school, Berkeley, learned Arabic, brilliant woman. I left. I came back from Egypt. She's gone. I saw her. I said, why aren't you in the community anymore? She said, I was told I cannot be part of this community because I'm a woman. And that wasn't in Berkeley. <coughs> I said, really? So what are you doing now? She says, I'm a lawyer. I said, I want to ask you a question. How much do they pay you an hour for legal advice? You know what she told me, Sheikh Omar? $500 an hour is what she charges. Can you imagine our community would not use a woman for free to help in its growth and development who corporations are willing to pay her one hour of her time. How much? $500. AWOL. So third is to live around a dynamic community who's willing to pass the baton to the entire community, men and women, young and old. And I don't like this term, but I'm just using it, immigrant and indigenous, convert and born vert, all kind of verts, right? Because we have to be honest, the converts convert, but they don't participate. We don't see them around because the community is not comfortable. And us converts, we're losing our kids because we bring our kids to Masajid and they're not treated properly.